If there is one thing I'm proud of with my channel, it's that you never really know what you're gonna get. That's what makes it fun. All these other people just throw shit at the wall until something sticks. And they can never really bring themselves to leave it behind in fear of failure elsewhere. But not me. Because I'm the wall. The shit hits me and I roll with it. But no matter how hard I try to explore different walls, dip a toe in a new system or experiment with a new genre, no matter how hard I try, I always end up back at PlayStation. You see, it's just fate that I'm forever drawn back to this system as I'm forever drawn back to my favourite era of Disney films. The likes of Aladdin, Lion King and The Hunchback of Notre Dame, these are what I grew up with alongside the PS1. So I think it's finally time we take a closer look at the result of this crossbreed, Disney's Tarzan. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Alright, we know how this goes by now. It's movie time! This is yet another one of those bootleg Disney films from our favourite fuckholes over at Dingo Pictures. Since we're on PS1, this has even less interactivity than the PS2 games because we only get two activities. Painting, I hate you, and this putrid puzzle slider, I hate you too. Now, without further ado, I present to you, Lord of the Jungle. Hey guys, welcome to my Sega CD review. The hell is this? Sony's CD-based powerhouse can't even play full motion video in full screen? Even though it can actually, I've seen it done hundreds of times, so why do they have to shrink and blur and sharpen the shit out of this mess? The Frame Meister does it no favours. So we open up to all the creatures of the jungle living in perfect harmony. We see a plane fly overhead with a mother and child on board. Soon my little treasure you will meet your father. Won't be long now. Won't be long now. Hey, don't spoil the script, lady. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck was that? I know Disney movies used to be dark, but goddamn, you're scaring the kids. <laughs> So after this horrific death, five seconds into this baby entertainment, this gorilla decides to explore the flaming wreckage of the plane crash, and just happens to find the baby alive and well. Must have been all that mouth-to-mouth -mouth CPR the mother gave before she... fucking EXPLODED! The monkey leaders have a dispute over the decision to keep him, and... nothing. The kid is set free into the jungle to fend for himself. <laughs> yeah, I bet that's how you guys felt when you realised we're doing this today instead of actual Tarzan. Strange little monkey isn't even able to drink. Of course not. I'm going to take him home with me. He will learn to behave like a real monkey. Talking about learning to be normal while this backwards-ass bird flies its ass backwards... 
Yeah, righto. Of all the shitty cartoons I've watched on this channel, Lord of the Jungle is already the worst just for the pacing. In 30 seconds, we've gone from walking to being scared by a panther, random shots of wildlife, and then the kid falls out of a tree and... Sheena brings him back to the tribe where King Monkey argues that because he's different, he doesn't belong with them. The little one tries running like a monkey but falls, and everyone laughs at him, but him needs a name. Why will you call him, your little son? Hmm, what do you think about Lord? Lord? Lord sounds good. <laughs> Lord? 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 Kill me? Fucking Lord. Lord of the Jungle. How clever. And that's it. The movie is over. Hup, oh, no, still going. We come back to the jungle. There's that fucking bird again. Simba wakes up from his nap and King Monkey, Dracon, shows up, looking fucking pissed. What a difference, that lord is completely retarded. That lord is completely retarded. This game is completely retarded! <laughs> what the fuck? Could you imagine, as a parent, and an awful one at that, setting your child down to watch this and hearing that shit? It's terrible, but I love it. That lord is completely retarded. The monkeys try teaching Lord how to climb trees and just laugh at him when he can't do it, including Sheena, the nice monkey by the way. All this language and mocking, this cartoon is very mean spirited with its actions. Oh, good lord. Lord. The sexy narrator bird from Dinosaur Adventure is back. And, yep, he bought that along too. Lord has grown up now and is running around playing pranks on the Lion King. Or should I say Lion and the King? God, they really have no shame, do they? Like here, we go from being scolded about playing pranks to, you know, just casually riding around on a fucking turtle and back to normal again. As normal as can be, anyway. The kids run off to the watering hole and find... Ah! My nightmares. They're haunting me. That was close. Did you see? Dundee had his mouth opened. I rescued you. Now I'll take care of you. We have to tell this dragon immediately. <laughs> These guys here are never seen again, by the way. <laughs> Dracon gets mad at Lord for playing pranks and asks him to hand over his weapons. He tries to hang himself but fails and all the other monkeys laugh at him. <laughs> no sound effects, by the way. And... Oh, come on. This movie has ended like four times now. Stop teasing me. We get caught up on the story and fuck five times. This is honestly so hard to comment on, stopping and starting, jumping from one pointless scene to the next. This is the part where Lord realises that he isn't actually a monkey and decides to smear mud all over his face. Super original. At this point, they start referring to Lord as a white monkey. Meaning all the others are black monkeys. Yeah, this is just getting uncomfortable. Time passes and while the tribe is on the move, they rediscover the crashed plane and begin exploring a nearby treehouse until Dracon starts blind firing into the air, scaring everyone away and causing Lord to jump out of the treehouse just to climb back into the treehouse. I don't know what that's all about. He finds some pictures of more white monkeys, among other things, including a goddamn knife. Brilliant. So first we're teaching the kids to pick on Rita, uh, special needs people, and now we're playing with knives? Great. Give that to me, ah. No. Ah. Run away, Lord, quickly! Jesus! Just fucking stab the guy and run away! 
Fucking drive-by stabbing. Is this manhunt? I'm going to kill that little white monkey. Man, gotta love the calm delivery of these racial undertones. Never gets old. But as time passes, Lord gets older, still returning to the treehouse every so often. A monkey comes and tells him, Dracon is dead. Dragon died. Dragon died. He died. He died. The old monkey king is dead. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, don't cover him up or anything. Just mingle around a corpse all afternoon. I can understand though, these animals don't give two shits about the guy. The body is still warm and they're here like, we want Lord to be the new king. We don't even get the redemption story where he learns to accept Lord into the tribe. That's the entire point of the fucking movie. <coughs> Plagiarism! Now, this is where the humans come into it, and just look at them. Crawling around on the floor, because references, and here comes the crocodile to eat them. Good. Oh my god! What kind of head case just opens up shells into a defenseless crocodile like that? They eventually discover the treehouse and learn that it was once the home of Lord Greystone. Who? Lord Greystone, do you remember? The missing Lord, he lived here, it's written here. Right here. Now, if you can remember, at the start of the movie, the mother told baby Lord that they were going to see his father for the first time. Which means that Lord Greystoke lived in a tree. Or maybe they both lived in a tree together, but is there ever any explanation as to why they would want to live in the tree? There's no mention of it being for research purposes or just a hatred of civilization. No, they just lived in a tree. Until she left to seek better medical attention for her childbirth and fucking exploded in the plane crash coming home. What is this story? It hurts my head. I just totally lost track of what happens next. Lord saves the professor from a lion attack. Kind of. Some swinging happens and then everyone is introduced. Lord. Professor Bloomsdale and that's Linda. My daughter Linda. Linda? Well, now that we have been introduced, I want to go on. Wow, not even meeting a strange man in the jungle could please this guy. Ah, uh, Daddy! Linda? <sighs> I have to say, curious customs, but interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to write a book about it. And any wonder, he's so apparently dead inside from watching Lord of the Jungle, he doesn't even care his daughter gets kidnapped by the Lord of the Jungle. And right after this, they meet up like it didn't even happen, and... Oh, this voice acting is par for the course with these fucking things. It's just as I thought. There is some similarity. Oh, what am I saying? There is quite a bit of similarity between the picture and our uh, Mr. Lord. And he could be Sir Greystoke's son. Very interesting. Maybe he is the young lord. Well, I should say was the young lord. Now he's a wild man. So, yeah, simple stuff. But even though we know he's the missing son, there is still an entire side plot about a candle burn when he was a baby, and they have to check his fingerprints. Come on! I'm sick of this movie ending and ending and ending. Just bloody end already! Oh no. Oh fuck. This Clayton wannabe kills a bunch of elephants for their tusks. We only see two of them die, but he's got like 20 tusks lying around. 
It's like some stupid Mortal Kombat fatality with 12 rib cages or some shit. Lord's old friend is one of the elephants killed, so now he has to exact his revenge. Oh no, he just lets him escape. No love lost, I suppose. I can't come with you to England. I belong to my family and to this place. And if I stay with you? Oh yeah, we all know what he means by that. I'm not kidding. The movie ends with some baby lords crawling all over the jungle floor and that's that. Because this movie ended some 50 times in less than an hour, I was half expecting it to fade back in and start the next segment. Praise the lord it didn't. Actually don't. Fuck the lord. Hell exists on earth and I ain't praising this game one bit. Lord of the Jungle gets one out of fucking ten. What did you expect? And I think it's time I finally revealed the harsh truth with this game. The real scary part. This is not a Phoenix game. Dingo Pictures created all of the original animations, but Phoenix Games were not the original publishers of this foul trash. No, no, no. This is the product of Midas Games, <laughs> yeah! Ah, uh, good old pocket price Midas. Dig into our garbage can library and find some sweet, cheap trash. Oh, we will. Next time. But until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share. I'm Square Eye Jack, and I hope you have a great fucking day. Thanks for watching. <laughs>